You may think of them as just an internet meme whose existence is proved every time you see a Dorito. Or really triangles anywhere. We see you, Diafio. <laughs>
the, the Simpsons are another show that have been that have used a similar story. They frequently mention the Freemasons, but in one episode, Homer Simpson joins the Stonecutters. Welcome to the club number 908. You have joined the sacred order of the Stonecutters. The Stonecutters use the symbology of the Freemasons with the Masonic square and compasses on wall hangings and an all-seeing eye. There is an eye above the entrance of the meeting hall as well. They wore red robes and each member was referred to by a number that they received at their initiation. Homer goes through an initiation ceremony that involves the leap of faith. <laughs> a blindfolded five-story plunge. In reality, it's just being pushed off the edge of a stage. <laughs> 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 and then there are three rituals the crossing the desert the unblinking eye and the paddling of the swollen ass each of these is really similar <laughs> that one makes me laugh <laughs> their chapter leader number one was voiced by patrick stewart with paddle and he closes the initiation with the proclamation the sacred order of the stonecutters has since ancient times split the rocks of ignorance that obscure the light of knowledge and truth now let's all get drunk and play ping pong. Nice. <laughs> Omar was elected Grand Exalted Leader after it was discovered that he had a birthmark shaped like two hammers, marking <laughs> him as the chosen one. Of course. When Homer tries to lead them into a variety of service projects, the entire membership of the fraternity defects to form another self-centered fraternal group called the No Homers Club. <laughs> to order the first meeting of the ancient mystic society of... <laughs> No home. Membership in the 1,500-year-old fraternity was attained by either being the son of a stonecutter or by saving the life of a stonecutter. Oh. They also had a song, Stonecutter Song. Who rigged every Oscar night? We do. And then there is SpongeBob. This may be YouTube's favorite Illuminati referencing cartoon, except for maybe Disney. The Cephalopod Lodge meets on the third Wednesday of each month, and Squidward is the a committed and enthusiastic member. It is the highlight of his month. He says it is almost makes up for the other 353 days and it makes it worth living. Almost makes the other 353 days worth living. Oh, poor mm. The meeting place is shaped like a pyramid with an all-seeing eye on it. They have a secret handshake to gain entrance to the meeting and they wear special robes and hats bearing the all-seeing eye and have an initiation for a new Initiation is referred to as Cantankerous Moray Illuis and involved being stung by an eel in a, in a cage. Nice. <laughs> But Spongebob and Patrick follow Squidward to the lodge room and witness the sacred initiation, thereby desecrating the sanctity of the lodge. And Squidward <laughs> is ex Squidward is expelled. Nope. Oh. Best thing in my life I really enjoyed. And Spongebob ruined it too. Spongebob and Patrick try to make up uh, try to make it up by to Squidward by starting a club called the Feather Friends. In the club they wore chicken costumes and for the initiation each member must be stung by a jellyfish on the tongue. Nice. <laughs> Spongebob and Patrick devise a plan to hide in a big sock and pretend to be a giant albino eel, scaring the membership of the Cephalopod Lodge, hoping that Squidward would defeat the eel and be allowed back into the club. And it works too. Until Patrick and Spongebob reveal themselves to congratulate Squidward. We still have Underwear! Oh, it just so happens that I have a chicken onesie. What? No way. But I'm rubbish at keeping secrets. <laughs> so everyone's welcome in our Ruby Tuesday Secret Club. All you need to do is like and subscribe and watch out for the Illuminati. Mostly. Mostly. They are <laughs> everywhere. Yes, and if you'd like the subliminal messaging that I put in this episode with our Patreon page, Patreon page then uh, please go there and spend money. Wow, you're brainwashing them, right? I am, yeah. You have been brainwashed. Do you know Do you know what happens if you search YouTube for the water buffalo Fli Flintstones one? No. You get the VeggieTales water buffalo song. No way. Everybody wants a water buffalo. Yours <laughs> is fast, but mine is slow. <laughs> <laughs>